Hey, how you doing, econ students? This is Jacob Clifford. In Macroeconomics Unit 2, your teacher professor is going to ask you questions and have you calculate CPI and the GDP deflator. I made this speed practice video to make sure you're ready for your quiz, your exam, you can calculate CPI. So here we go, let's practice. Okay, you have six questions here and this is exactly what you're going to see on the exam. Three different products with different prices for each year. Do the calculations. Good luck. Okay, how'd you do? Did you do well? Let's go over the answers. Questions one, two, and three are really easy. You're just adding up the value of the market basket for that given year by multiplying the quantity of the items times the price. Just remember, you're not adding up the prices for that given year. So for year one, it's not $8. You have to multiply it times the quantity of the items in the market basket. So for year one, the rice is $10, the beans are $30, and the beef is $10 for a grand total of $50. For year two, it's $15 of rice, $45 of beans, and $10 of beef gives you a total of 70. And for year three, it's $10 of rice, $33 of beans, and $12 of beef gives you a total of 55. Like I said, those are easy to calculate, but you're gonna use those numbers now to calculate the CPI. For question four, you're gonna need the equation for the CPI, which is the value of the market basket for the year you're looking at, divided by the value in the base year times 100. Since year one is the base year, it's $70 divided by $50 times 100 gives you 140. And remember, that's not a dollar amount and it's not a percentage, it's an index number telling you prices increase 40% between year one and year two. For question five, it's the value of the market basket in year three, which is $55, divided by the base year basket, $50, times 100, gives you a CPI of 110. And that number tells you the prices increase 10% between year one and year three. And that's why I asked you question six, is makes you understand this concept. Did the inflation rate actually increase for year three? The answer is no it decreased. Yes, prices increased 10% since the base year, but between year two and year three, prices definitely fell. So the inflation rate, the annual inflation rate would decrease. The point here is remember that CPI shows you how prices changed since some base year. The annual inflation rate tells you how prices changed since the previous year. Okay, there it is, that's CPI. I hope you're ready for your quiz or your exam. I also made another speed review video just like this for the GDP deflator. It's in the ultimate review packet and it's completely free. All you gotta do is sign up for the free preview. It's in there waiting for you right now. Okay, do me a favor. Let me know how you did on these questions in the comments below and let me know what other videos you want me to make that cover the speed practice for other concepts in macroeconomics. Thanks for watching, till next time.